Hi everyone! Today I'm introducing a screencasting tool called Screencast-O-Matic. A screencast is a video of anything that happens in a frame on your screen. That video may include static images, like what I'm using today, or it may use include dynamic images. In order to create a screencast, you will need a device, preferably a desktop or a laptop. You will need access to the internet, and you will need at least microphone capabilities, but possibly also webcam capabilities. Sometimes it's helpful to have two screens as well, but that's not necessary. What you will need to start by doing is by opening a browser, Chrome, Firefox, Mozilla, um, sorry, Mozilla, Firefox are the same thing, um, Internet Explorer, whichever. I'm using Chrome today. And you will need to go to Screencast-O-Matic. And a screen just like this one will pop up. What you will then need to do is click the Start Recording button. When you click the Start Recording button, a screen like this one will appear. It's fairly cheap to go pro, and that unlocks some editing capacity and allows you to add music tracks and so on. But it's not absolutely essential. For most of our purposes, um, using the free version, the website version, um, is perfectly acceptable. It just does limit you to 15-minute videos, but that's also fine in our context for the most part. What you do then is you click on Launch Recorder over here. When you click on Launch Recorder, a tiny little box, or quite a big box actually, the recording box pops up in the left hand corner of your screen. And you want to pay attention to that box. But you also want to make sure that anything that you can see inside these, inside the frame lines of your screen is what you're going to be recording. So what you might want to do is you might want to change that and it is a live screen even though it has the frame so you can go and click through and remove um, minimize what's on your screen and pull up say your slide share or um, a new window browser if you want to work in that and so on there are a couple of key things to notice when you have screencast matics recorder active the first thing that you want to notice is that little frame that i've talked about around the edge it starts off black and white and then turns to red and white when you're recording. And it's absolutely critical that whatever you want to record is inside the frame. As you start recording, you will notice that a little record bar pops up at the bottom of the screen. It has a button, the little record button over here. It tells you how long your recording is going for. It has a bin button and a done button. If you click the Done button, let's say you've done your recording and you click the Done button, what pops up then is this screen. And it asks you whether you want to save as a video file, whether you want to upload to either screencast or matter YouTube. For the most part, we've been suggesting that people save as video files and that you can then download it to Vula because if you download it to Vula, students have secure and reasonable access to it. If you click the save as a video file, what will come up then is an option to do things like what type, we suggest keeping it at mp4, an option to change the title, and I'll show you how that works in a moment, an option to identify where on your laptop or PC you would like it saved, um, and an option to highlight the cursor or to hide the cursor. When you click file name, you have an opportunity to change the file name and that if you click on it a little box pops up like this and you can just type in the file name of the video we strongly suggest making sure that it's something that's easily searchable for your students when you click on the publish button this little screen pops up and it takes a few minutes to pop up you'll find a little um, progress bar that comes up first um, this screen pops up and once it indicates with the green tick that your video is published, you can click the Done button. And when you click the Done button, your 
video is automatically saved to the particular folder that you identified on your desktop or laptop from where you can upload it to Vula, to a public site, to Google Docs where, or Google Drive, wherever you would prefer. And that is the basics of an introduction to Screencast-O-Matic.